Yo fam, welcome to Modded Minecraft. Just to get this all out of the way, I'm playing on Minecraft 1.16.5 and all the mods can be found in the description down below. In this video, I explored modded structures, built up a house, and even delved into some technical mods, so be sure to stick around to see it. I'm also trying a longer format video, so let me know what you think in the comments. I did one test run of these mods, make sure everything was available. I played early game. Uh, I actually streamed a little bit of it on my Discord down below a couple days. Make sure to join the Discord server, uh, get notified for videos and any updates going on with the channel, etc., etc. And it's also a great way you can reach out to me and give me some feedback. Let me know what you're thinking about the videos. So I'm going to take this wood, make that, get some basic tools going for us. So let's see what's bussing in this temple here. Oh, that's what's bussing. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know any of these structures, so I don't know what is gonna be in here. Oh. This is very bad. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I was just trying to get stone tools, but they, they have, they seem to have different plans. Okay guys. So I'm going to move on from that mess. Uh, let's get back to what our main goal was. What was our main goal? What are we doing here? Why, why do we all, what is, what is life moving on? Let's see if we can probably find some food. I'm going to try to find a village. Alrighty. So I've got some tools and as we can see by the sun setting, it's starting to turn nice. So I will also make a bed which will be very useful indeed so i suppose i'll give you a rundown of all the major mods that are probably important at the moment so let's go through the divine almanac i'm assuming that's how you say that fine rpg that's the mod we installed for progression and quests and such you we don't we need to read that right now that'll we'll be here forever if we try to read through that whole thing the gist of it is we go to dimensions get some gear there get the materials required to craft the next portal then we go to the next dimension again and do the exact same thing rinse and repeat until you've gone through all the dimensions i'm not sure how many there are i know there's quite a few and they take a while to get to them so we don't have to worry about running out of things to do in this mod pack you've also got handy dandy things like a map so we can actually see everywhere we've been this is really helpful for just scouting out random structures and for instance, I can see there's lots of plane spimes over here, and so on and so forth. So it's a very handy, sandy thing indeed. I see a regular vanilla desert temple over here, so we're gonna actually go to that. That'll be easier than some crazy modded one. Let's just go down, do as we would with a regular desert temple, break this pressure plate here. Ooh, also, I forgot about this. It actually, the chests are now according to the wood you craft them, which with which is sick okay a bunch of gunpowder that's sweet got some iron as well very nice okay okay we've got some things let's see here yeah oh i also forgot Ooh. that's interesting okay i also got a mod that adds different covers to enchanted books i think that's just fun vein mining yo dude i didn't know that i didn't even know i had that on here i'm not gonna lie dude this stuff in here is sick i'll take the diamond horse armor okay guys i'm gonna get some leather here and craft probably one of the best mods in my opinion the most convenient mod i have installed here place down this backpack i'm gonna grab some wood i'm gonna make a chest Put the chest in the middle. I'm going to grab some leather, like so. Grab some string. And boom. We've got a backpack. Now, this backpack is super handy dandy. It's basically like a movable chest. But not only that, we can upgrade it. Simply eight iron becomes an iron backpack with double the space. But it doesn't end there. No, 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 no. We upgrade it with gold. Huzzah. It has triple the space. 
Oh, it's glorious. It truly is glorious. Also, I want to see what this does. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it gives you feather falling. <gasps> this thing is so cool. This is the best find by far, guys. Best find by far. And we're actually going to equip the backpack. Look at that. We have all these slots for things. So we'll equip the backpack. And now if we ever want to access it, it's shift B. That's what it is. I'm trying to remember what my hotkey was for it. Shift B and boom, backpack is open. And with that, we're going to put all our stuff away. Just chuck it all in there. And let's see, what do we actually need? Alrighty, and theoretically, we're good to go with that. Sweet, so now we have just a gorgeous inventory. Oh, it's truly glorious. Now, let us continue exploring. Oh, what do you know? I see a village, that's amazing. It's just nice, let's go to the blacksmith's house first. See what we got in here. We got some apples, some different gear, very nice. Iron sword. I mean, I will say no. Very nice, very nice indeed. Now, I want to show you guys something very cool. Yes, that's what it was. Shift V. Okay. So, if you guys are wondering what just happened, why I have a villager in my backpack? I installed a mod called Easy Villagers. Absolutely fun mod. And it makes villagers, as it implies, much easier. And speaking of mods I have, this is another one from Waystones. It is a Waystone. Crazy, I know. And what this allows you to do is you can place it down, and if you have another one placed somewhere, you can click it and you can teleport. Although we don't need this Waystone here because we'll take it and place it down someone, somewhere more useful later. So I'm basically going to pillage this entire place. I only really need a couple villagers because I can easily breed them. I'll show you more on that probably in episode or two. I don't know if we'll get around to it this episode. Maybe. Okie dokie guys. So I have scavenged this entire village at this point and I'm going to craft these logs into some gorgeous wood crafting table. Okie dokie. So what I want to do now is get some basic armor. I'm just going to make the chest plate into leggings. So we have two extra if need be. So I'm mostly protected. Got the bulk of it protected. Nice, nice, nice. Put that away. And I kind of want to settle down. I'm not sure if I want to search further. Um, there does seem to be some here, rune portal here. But I think that this plains biome is really a good place to settle down. I don't want to be near the village. The village is kind of a mess. I want to find somewhere really flat. I'm thinking possibly in that area. So we're going to go explore over there but not till I sleep through the night. Oh my. What in all of our nations? Oh my. It's the devil himself. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Yo, 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 yo. Actually, that thing does so much damage. Ooh. No. No! Actually, what the heck, dude? Okay, that's fine. We respawn. And luckily, I have a cool little mod where I got a waypoint to my dead body. So I suppose I'll use this opportunity to show you this amazing mod. But this cool mod allows me to literally find a dead corpse myself. Ain't that just delightful? We can just press transfer items and everything is as should be. Gorgeous. Now let's continue with our exploration. Okie dokie, so there's a dungeon right here and I see a tower over there. This is interesting and it's a relatively flat area for the most part. I mean, it's slightly hilly, but you clear out a little bit of hills and it's pretty flat. You know what? I think we've done enough exploration, in my opinion. I think we have. I think it's time to settle down. And I'm going to settle right next to this cool dungeon here. I'll just make it right here in the plane, so we're not too close. Place down the bed. Set it as a spawn. Place down some furnaces. I'm going to finish off the armor set. Gorgeous. Plop those on. Nice full set of iron armor. And I think, honestly, now it's time to explore this dungeon. I'm going to be real with you, I have no idea what's even in the dungeon. And you know what, actually, before we go down, I should probably, it would probably be smart to craft at least a shield. 
I do have an umbrella, but that's only so good and will only do you so much in a dungeon. So we'll craft a shield. Beautiful, and let's go back now. Okay. Let's see what we got. We got, a, wow, a lot of chain armor. I'll take that for now, just temporarily. I'll take the suspicious stew as well. Very cool, very cool. We're gonna have to be fast about this because the longer we're here, the more mob spawners have time to, well, spawn things. Ooh, parkour. <gasps> Let's try this again. Cool. Okay. Wow, we're really taking out this dungeon. This is a lot easier than I thought it would be. I also, what in the world is that? Ooh. Yo. Dude, that's crazy. I didn't expect there to be good loot like this down here. Diamond sword. Let's take the Let's take the sweeping edge. That'll be better cuz there's lots of mobs in here. This looks like a trap. Oh, maybe it's not. Look at mana steel. Oh, that's kind of trash. What do we got here? Oh, prop one diamond leggings. Yo, actually, crazy. Dude, let's go. Dude, this is it. Just need to be a dungeon crawler at this point. Okay, cool. Well, that was definitely a W. Lots of loot there. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty guys, we got through all that, got through all those exploration, all those structures, everything. I think it's time that we actually focus on some mods and focus on the progression of the game. I think we should just go mining as we probably normally should in a normal game. I'm actually going to grab the waystone here. I'm going to place this next to the house. And just in case we ever die and our spawn point's not set or something to that degree, at least this waystone will always be here and I'll be able to make my way back. And I think it's time that I go mining. So, just gonna dig down and strip mine until I find some ores. I went on a wee bit of a mining expedition mine for like probably just 30 minutes and I got a bunch of rupee ore I only did find one arlamite ore didn't find a whole lot of anything good but that's fine also got a bunch of iron need to smelt that up as well because I want to get a anvil very quickly because I want to try out some vein miner and before we go ahead and do all that I'm gonna make some tools so with these rupee ingots I craft a couple more sticks I can make one of every tool and I'll show you why I want to do that Lay those there. So we're gonna get the rupee pickaxe, which I don't think, I think it is a little bit better than, um, I think it's actually better than diamond pickaxe, but I'm not sure. Anyway, rupee pickaxe, rupee axe, rupee shovel, and the rupee hoe. And the reason I make all those is because when combined, I get the rupee shick axe. Now this has 2000 uses, which is absolutely bonkers. A regular diamond pickaxe has 1,500. So almost seven times as much, I think. Maybe my math's probably wrong. It's a lot. Actually, I do want to make the rupee pickaxe. I want to compare the two. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. The rupee is so much better. So I'm going to have the rupee shick axe, and I'm going to have a rupee pickaxe. So I can basically get rid of these old crusty tools now. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. I will keep the diamond pickaxe because it is diamond after all. Would you please shut up? Just die. 
let's go ahead and grab our vein miner that we have somewhere. There we go, vein miner. Crap. And now, assuming the vein miner hopefully works with pickaxe. Oh, it does have vein mining. Crazy. Okay, I have no idea what this does. I'm assuming vein mining is like a good enchant, so I have no idea how this works. But... Yo! Dude! What? <laughs> I mean, hey, that is what... Dude, that's great. Dude, we could go... And it just mines it all? Dude, that's crazy. I could just go through this entire cave. Coal? Oh my gosh. More coal. Oh my word. Why does he mine so quick? Does it work on... Oh, okay. So that is something we need to know. It works on everything. So this is going to be very broken. The problem is its durability is already... I already lost 200 durability there. Cool beans. Okay, so we're making progress. This is sick. I'm going to do... I wonder if vein mining works on wood. Hold on, I gotta test this now. It'll be slow because it's a pickaxe, but if it applies. Oh my goodness, it applies to wood. Dude, that makes life so much easier, actually. Might wanna start setting up some villagers because I think that's pretty important. Okay, now I've gotta go grab some sand. So if I look at the map, let's see, where's the closest sand? We could run all the way over to the desert, but quite honestly, it's not really worth it. I'm just gonna go over to the river down here and grab some sand there. Alrighty, first thing we're going to make is the villager breeder. Okie dokie, and we'll place that down. Nice. So now, all I got to do is grab two of my villagers, put them in there, and I just need to give them some food. And luckily, we have 61 hay bales, which is crazy. That's a lot of hay. I stole all of that, by the way. Give them all that food, and they'll make a bunch of babies. Look at that, I already got a baby villager. Next thing I need to do is I need to grab this iron. I'm gonna make a bucket. Nice, nice, nice. And I'm gonna grab this bucket and I'm gonna go find a piece of lava. scoop de doop And just like that, we have a piece of stone which we can use to make an iron farm. What do you know? An iron farm and just one easy peasy lemon squeezy block. Now, of course, I am gonna need a villager for that. So I will grab the cleric, chuck him in there. And this will slowly create and the last piece we're gonna need today is gonna be the trader. We're just gonna bop that down next to all this. Grab our last villager. Actually, well, I'll grab one of the babies, plop it in there. And I guess it'll take time to grow or something. I'm not sure, which is cool beans. So now we've got villagers. Like literally that took me probably 10, 15 minutes and we've already got a full system i do still need to get a villager converter but i don't have a use for that because i don't have weakness potions at the moment but i think we should probably go to the nether sharpness four feather falling three your tide three shot i'm breaking three yo for 19 emeralds is actually crazy I'll tell you what i'm actually gonna get someone breaking books because that's a really good steal a few moments later switches now i can get one book of unbreaking three very nice, and I will put that on the vein mining one first. Sweet, there's another unbreaking book. Shook it on the shake hex, and boom! We got unbreaking three on both of our beautiful tools. Love to see it. Alrighty, and you know what that means? It means it's time to go do some more mining. Two hours later. Okay, guys, I've done a little bit more mining, and I've finished smelting up most of this. Very cool, very cool. Got a bunch of ores and such, which is total bonkers. Love to see it. But I've got our next plan of action that we're going to partake in, and I think I want to build a house. By the Most times when I play these worlds, you guys know how it goes. I usually don't build a house for, well, a long time. I don't like settling down, but I think I'm going to do it this time. I think I am. I think I'm going to build a house first episode. Just a quaint, basic house, but it's going to be a house nevertheless. I think that's what I'm going to go do now. I'm going to go grab some materials and do that. Alrighty, I got myself a couple materials, mainly just some wood, and I'm going to use this cobblestone. And like I said, it's going to be a really, really basic house, actually. The truth is, I never really build basic houses, and basic houses are kind of fun. And I believe I'm actually going to run all the way back to where we spawned and grab some of the terracotta that's there. So 
Sweet, I've already found the material I was looking for. And wow, is it easy to collect. And I'm very curious, I wanna check out this dungeon because we didn't go down here while we were here first. I'm also, after looting that, very curious what was in here. Alrighty, now that I've gotten that taken care of, let's finish up this main part of the build. Okie dokie, the house is now pretty much finished. Um, I mean, obviously I could add more detail. This is super basic and plain, but honestly, at the moment, I think that's fine because I want us to delve a little bit into the mod pack a little bit more. And there's specifically one thing I want to get going before we end the episode. So specifically right now, I want to go to the nether. And I did mine earlier some obsidian. I have placed it somewhere. So I know I have enough for a nether portal somewhere. There we go. And I'm not going to build this in the house, actually, because that would be annoying having here all the time. So I'm going to place it a little bit far away from the house. Not like crazy far, but just far enough where I don't have to hear it all the time. And light it. Sweet. Oh, man. Ah, not this biome. This is the worst biome we could have gotten. Oh, no, and not these enemies. Okay. Actually, I'm getting way better frames in here. But yes, as you can see, there's a lot going on. I can't even really hear myself think with the amount of sounds going on. A lot of mobs as well. Now, there's only one thing I need from this place before I can leave. And that is some quartz. I suppose I could also, while I'm here, hopefully not get hit like that again grab some other ores, but I need mainly quartz. So I was just looking at what I need to craft. And the first thing we're gonna craft is the basic fluid tank. I'll put this all here. Gorgeous, and it gives me a basic fluid tank. Now you're probably wondering what in the world does this do? This can hold up to 32 scoops of something and basically replaces the water bucket. Now I'm just going to run to the nether again, sadly, and scoop up lots of lava. Uh oh, what did I just, oh wait, that's not the right thing, is it? Well, it's gone. Perfect. And I'm going to now build something else I need. And that is a heat generator. Perfect. Now we're going to need some ores for this. So we're going to need copper, osmosium, iron, and we're going to need some wood. So really simple recipe. I'm just going to grab a bunch of the ores that we're going to need and just grab it all into my inventory. Now if I craft a furnace, I can craft the heat generator. The heat generator is very important indeed, and I will show you in just one moment what this does. First, I need to find a place to put this. I think I'm going to put it all in the upper area here. Let me put that one block away from the wall, like so. There we are, and I'm going to grab some glass panes. Okie dokie, I'm pretty sure for most of the areas. Uh oh, that's not good. I'm going to put this all around my little heat generator here. Very nice, and we now have glass on all sides. So this here is now generating lots of energy. So how much is this generating per tick? It's currently making 29.48 Fe per tick. Now Fe is the energy that we're using, and with this energy, we're going to be shoving it into this sort of unit that is allow, going to allow us to store 
all sorts of things. It's going to be very cool. Now we're going to need some cables to actually transfer this. There we are. A basic universal cable. And I need a steel ingot. And how do I make steel? Iron. Okay. Never mind. I take it back. I know not what I'm talking about. I'm actually going to need a different object first. And that is going to be a metallurgic infuser. This is the next recipe. So I'll go craft that up super duper quick. Perfect. We got the metallurgic infuser. Now if I plop that down there. It is connected. It has lots of energy. And this will allow us to with lots of this here. Iron using coal as fuel. It'll create good old fashioned infused iron. Now I am going to need to grab more fuel than that. Perfect. We have that enriched iron. We shove that and that should start making some enriched steel. And that steel I'll just throw it in my furnaces and it'll cook up into steel. And at this point I only need two steel. And with that I can craft some basic cables. So give us eight basic cables. Go. I'm going to take all this for the time being. Break this. Hope it doesn't burn. Okay, sweet. It didn't burn. And now I need to get to work on crafting a different part of this. So we have the energy supply and we have the way to transport the energy. Now we're going to work with a different mod to make our storage system. And this is going to be refined storage. Now with this mod, we can... In I mean, there's a lot in this mod. There really is. But really the only thing that's important at the moment is getting a grid. This is what we need to get. This grid. And to get this grid, I believe we're going to need... That's correct. We're going to need slime balls. That's our only bottleneck at the moment. Luckily, I know where a swamp is. As in, literally right next to our house. Okay, guys. Fast forward a significant amount of time later. I still have not been able to get a single slime. But I went mining and tried to find a slime chunk, which also did not work. But in the process, I accidentally got enough Arlamite to make our armor. So I'm going to do that. thought I'd just record that because this is significant. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's mixed with armor, so, uh, iron, so I don't even have to make the entire thing. And the armor looks pretty sick. Now, that aside, it is proving practically impossible to find any slime. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'll check back in when... I have slime, I suppose. I'll just have to find a way. Okay, guys, I finally did it. Finally managed to get my hands on some slime balls. Very happy indeed. I had to only travel a couple thousands and thousands of blocks away to an ocean where I found a jellyfish that I killed for slime balls. You know, very simple task, very easy to do indeed. Oh my gosh, we can finally continue with our lives. That took me like guys that literally took me two hours i'm not even kidding so now it is time to craft let's get right to it first things first we're going to need uh probably i mean we'll start with eight well maybe 16 will be enough so let's just go down to everything we need so first we're going to need the controller which needs an advanced processor so we'll craft one of those and we'll smelt her up Okay, now I'm gonna set these upstairs. Also, <laughs> the house burnt down. <laughs> the lava got to it, so not not the best move by me. But you know what? Mistakes happen. It's fine. I think I'm just gonna kind of set everything. I'm gonna put it all here. Yeah, that works. Now, these need to be connected up to energy, so we're also going to need to connect them with our basic cables. Does that connect all of them? That does connect all of them. Sweet. You know what? That's not the prettiest looking thing, but that's what we're going to build a wall here. We're going to put all this stuff. Okay. I like it. I like it. And we'll put the metallurgic infuser there, I suppose. It's like energy. Sweet. We got all that done, but now we actually need some disks so that we can actually use our storage. So for disks, let's look at what the disks are. We're going to need tier one disks first. 1K storage disk. Just going to need storage parts. Just going to need a bunch of silicone. So I'm going to just smelt an absolute ton of this. Perfect. Now I can make a 1K storage disk part. 
metric, and now I can make the 1K storage disk. I need more quartz and rich iron. I knew I was going to need a bunch of this. So I'll just craft an absolute ton of that. Perfect. Even got an achievement in everything. There we are. Grab more silicon. Repeat the process. Make as many of these as I can. And I'm out of glass. Amazing. So at the moment, we have the 1K storage disk. I'll show you how that works. Chuck that in there. That gives 1K to our storage system. I can chuck random stuff in there. So you can see I now have 64 items in the thing. So it checks out. But we actually don't want anything in our disks at the moment. Gonna empty these all out for all their parts. That'll give us the 1K storage parts out of them. Should now have enough for two 4Ks. Go to the 4K storage part. Now we just need four basic processors. So I'm gonna need eight basic processors. Perfect. Smelt that all up. There we are, now four basic processors, make it into a 4K storage part. And you know what? I bet you we could make a 16K. I bet you we could. So I need one more 4K. So I need four more basic processors. There we are, now I need to make a 4K. Which needs the four advanced processors, which are gonna require four silicon. There we are, I now have the basic processors for the 4K storage part. Perfect, that's three. Now for the 16K storage part. Four of those. Perfect. And four improved processor parts, beautiful. And then I can make the 16K storage part. S wow, 16,000 storage space. And now if I put this in the disk drive, 16,000 space, oh my gosh. This is crazy. So let me show you guys how this works after I move everything into the storage unit. Alrighty, everyone. I have now officially sorted everything. We no longer have a chest monster outside. It is all within our beautiful 16K storage disk. And we only use 3.4K up, which is quite impressive actually. So all our stuff is in there at the moment. Uh, most of it was just netherrack and quartz and blocks is what's taking up most space. So let me show you how all this stuff works. I realized I haven't explained this a whole lot and I've kind of just been doing it and you've been watching. So this is making energy as you probably inferred. Uh, this is a metallurgic infuser that's used for crafting. There's tons of other crafting in mechanism. Uh, we'll get into that probably into the next episode, maybe the next one, maybe set up some auto crafting in sorts, which is a little complicated. I haven't even dabbled in that yet. So it'll be a wild ride. But anyway, this is refined storage, the basic, basic refined storage. So what we have here is our storage disk, which contains our disks. In this case, we made a 16K, only using 3.4K of items in our, in our grid. That's how much all these items, the grid allows us to actually interact with them. So we can scroll through, see any of the items we need. We can search any of the items we need. So I could search gold, whatever, you know, et cetera, et cetera, whatever may be needed. And I can even craft inside of here, which is really great. So if I were to come over here and let's say I'm trying to find basic processor, I can, well, yeah, I can move everything in the grid. I was missing silicon and such, but anyway, you get the point. I can move things in the grid as I need them and it all interacts with everything. It's really great. And then the control grid, I'm not sure why this is needed. I think this has to do with whenever you're hooking up anything, you have to have a controller. So it interacts with everything or something of that sort. Anywho, that is that set up. That is sick. That took, I mean, it took forever to get slime, but now that it's set up, it's really handy dandy. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today's episode. I mean, we got a crazy start. I mean, I've got hours of footage to edit through, but... I mean, I think it came together really well. We managed to make a house that is less than perfect, seeing as the ceiling is burnt down. But if you don't see the burnt ceiling, it actually looks quite decent indeed for a very basic house. Anyway, that is. Went into the nether a little bit, didn't do too much exploration there. Did a little bit of exploration in the beginning, got villagers, got all our basics set up, even got some basic refined storage. We even got really good gear. I mean, we got, I mean, vein mining. I didn't even realize this is a thing. This is such an OP in chat. I didn't even know we had this crazy good. Let's do crazy things. Got the Arlamite armor, which is about equal to diamond armor, I believe. And it gives 85% ranged damage protection. Everything is set up for the beginning of a great Minecraft series. I hope you guys enjoy this 
Um, if you do, leave a like. Comment down below if you have any suggestions of any kind. And until next time, guys, Eli, out.